Why don't we build more buildings on Ontario Place, where people would love to have a home, I would imagine, and leave the goddamn Science Center alone for every generation of kids that haven't got to enjoy it yet. So, so, but you say that we are no better off if conservatives come in, because they're scumbags too, even though guys like us benefit from it. And w basically, I mean, we have another prime example of the conservatives trying to pull some shit right now for guys in our industry, it, it seems, at least... That's my guess. And somebody else, I, I watched a video this morning say, I'm talking about the Science Center, the Science of course, Center. Yeah, yeah. TK. Yeah. Uh, off. It's like, did, did you hear what's going on? So the architect that designed the thing is saying, like, I've read the engineering report and there's no reason to close this thing. There's minor repairs that need to be done. And then you've got this other guy who I believe was one of the investors for Shopify. And so this guy's got a boatload of money. And he said, yeah. you know, uh, I read the report too. And I kind of want to take my kids to science center this year. So uh, where can I wire my half a million dollars? I read that. Them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but, and then the engineer says in his report, like there's really no need, you know, to close the place permanently. And then so whose side are you on Daryl? Well, I, I want to know. I would love to see. Are you on the be... side of getting more properties built in Toronto or are you on the side of protecting every last thing from mm -hmm. 1980. No, but why why don't we why don't we build more buildings on Ontario Place where people would love to have a home, I would imagine, and leave the goddamn science center alone for every generation of kids that haven't got to enjoy it yet. They're going to rebuild it. And in 10 years, Let it'll be the build best. Build a little Listen, piece of shit. Center, I don't even bring my kids to the yeah, it kind of sucks. It's so old. It yeah, sucks. It kind of sucks. Why is everyone so All right, crazy fine. about this? Yeah, Let's in, blow the thing up, TK. In, I changed my mind. Let's in go. 19, in 1985, I, I loved, no, 1995. <laughs> sorry. I loved ever, going there. All right. Did you ever have hair long enough to like do the, the electric ball and have your hair go flying? No, I'm not that old there. But, but okay. In 1995, I loved going to this uh, science center. Yeah. Okay. So think about it. You. They didn't really change much since then. You yeah. have this, no, yeah, you have this, you know, image in your head about this happiness you had as a child. You want your kids to experience the same things. You send your 12 year old kid there. He comes home and he's like, what the heck was that, dad? That yeah. sucks. Why'd you fucking Why take me there I again? To go on YouTube and watch videos on can... way cooler things about science than anything that those guys taught me. I'd rather watch a video on the Science Center on YouTube than go there again. Think about it. <laughs> Think about how many um, awesome things are going to be in this new science center. That's what I meant. Half glass full kind of guy. Think about how cool they're going to make the new science center and yeah, how like great all those center? buildings are going to look in that location because the DeGasperis family is going to be building in some way, <laughs> shape, or form. And they figured you know it mean? out across they need, the street. Those guys right? need to make billions of dollars so that stuff can get done. Like, why, does it, why isn't everyone just okay with this? I saw a video this morning on TikTok oh, where the, the guy was saying that it's was sold to somebody that owned a bunch of property in the green belt. And so, I mean, that leaves kind of two families, I think, but regardless, this yeah. will be something to watch, I suppose, since it is definitely closed. If you've driven by, I just it. hope it is... that Dougie's got the stones to be able to stick to this decision and How that he can, he, people are offering to pay to keep it open. Like they're, they're, if done. you're listening to the, like, first of all, Doug Ford, he, he tunes in every once in a while. I've talked to him. Okay. He was at our, uh, you know, our words, uh, party there a couple months ago. He said, Hey, you watch the show. He says, I'm a big fan. Yeah. So Dougie, if you're listening to this episode again, all right, stick to your guns. All right, stick, stick to your guns, to your make guns. decisions and move forward and people will forget, you know, there's the all sorts industry. of things that are good examples of that where all the rioters come out and everything just sort of gets swept under the bridge later eventually and people stop people forget. Don't worry, That's they'll right. stop showing up at your house and leaving yeah. those flaming bags of dog, you know, yeah. you'll be fine, Dougie, hang in there. Hey guys, thanks for watching our Clips channel. Why don't you go and check out some more clips? We got lots of other good content somewhere over here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Boom. That was good. That was, that was good. good. That was good. I like that. That was good.